Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Kamen Rider Geats. We're 19 episodes into Geats so far, and I think that's a pretty good distance in to be able to talk about it. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I don't want to wait until it's finished to cover it in a full review. So we're going to do an in-progress review of Kamen Rider Geats at episode 19. There's not going to be any spoilers in this section of the video, but there will be spoilers later on. So please keep that in mind, but you will, of course, have the ticker tag at the bottom to let you know that it's spoiler time. Now, when we're talking about Geats, I think that Ray Will Ryder has been pretty solid for me so far. Not everybody loves Zero One, but I absolutely adore Kamen Rider Zero One. Saber, I did not click with at all. And Revice, I'm kind of mixed on. There are things about Revice I really like, one of which is the fight choreography that I think is really, really solid. And there are things about Revice that I don't really like. And I'm not going to get into those here, because at some point we're going to do a full Revice review here on the channel. But I have been neglecting Common Rider. And for anybody who's like, Trey, why haven't you made any more Common Rider videos? Well, I couldn't for a while. Toei had us completely locked down with complete copyright strikes that almost took the channel down. Um, but <laughs> now that we can talk about Common Rider again, Geats is really fun. I don't think there's anything that Geats is doing that is like my favorite of all Rider, but it's doing everything solid to great, right? There are things about it that I absolutely adore, and then there are things about it that I just think are just good, right? I don't really have any major complaints with Geats for the most part. I think Geats is just a really fun, solid season. For anybody who doesn't know, Kamen Rider, I was about to get into what Kamen Rider is. That's We have a different video on that and where to start Kamen Rider. Go check that out. I'll link it in the description if that's the question that you have. But if your question is, what is Kamen Rider Geats? then I can answer that. Kamen Rider Geats is a interesting take on the Battle Royale style writer that Gaim, not Gaim, Ryuki started and Gaim did as well. Uh, it's, I like this take on it more than either of the other two, but I think that, I think it means a little bit more maybe in a Ryuki where you have just a set number of characters, whereas Geats seems to keep introducing new ones, uh, which is not a bad thing either. It's, a lot of people make the Fortnite comparison, right? Fortnite Kamen Rider. That's not exactly what Geats is, but it does have a little bit of that in there, right? And I think it actually works really, really well. There's also a little bit of Among Us that comes in later. Look, that's not the point right now. It's it's a really interesting take on Rider in that our main Rider is not... It reminds me a lot of Kabuto in that our main Rider is not the main focus all the time is maybe the way to put it and he's a mystery ace is is very much a mystery and we learn more about him and the plot as a whole as we move forward through these episodes little by little by little pulling these strings until we have a big chunk of the tapestry revealed already and obviously there's a lot more to come but i'm really enjoying it so far the only real complaint that I would have is that our main supporting lead, Kewa, who is sort of our main character, he's our viewpoint character, right? He's our POV character, even though Ace is definitely the main writer. Uh, Kewa is, Kamen Rider Tycoon, is very good, right? He is the good guy. And that's fine. I just feel like 19 episodes in, maybe he should have realized a little bit more of, hey, maybe I can't trust everybody. But it seems like he might be getting that way. We'll see. Again, I'm not going to talk too many spoilers here. It's, I don't have any real complaints. That was the only one that I could think of. Uh, let's get into all the stuff we can talk about without spoilers. Let's start with suits. I adore the Geet suits. They are so good. And I saw a lot of people when the show was first announced be like, oh, well, all the suits are going to have the same underset, the same underbody armor, and it's going to make them all look bad. They're, only a couple of them are going to look good. And there are a couple of minor complaints that I guess people could throw in, uh, but for the most part, I think these suits are really, really solid. It all is based around buckles, right? And I just want to real quick appreciate how much better it is to be able to buy a driver and the buckles to support it to be able to represent the other characters as compared to each writer has their own driver. Looking at you, Revice. Because that gets expensive. 
that gets really expensive real quick and you can just get the zombie buckle to represent michinaga or uh the ninja buckle you you can just get the buckles to be able to represent the characters that you want and i think that's really cool by far the best suit design in my mind is the geet suit it looks so so good uh, the Magnum boost style that you're going to see in all the promotional art, even though he's really just Magnum for the most part. Um, it just looks great. It it looks really solid. But even the variable versions that you get with the different buckles, I think still look really good. They put a lot of work into the helmets, into the masks, as it were, that really make them shine, even when they're in contrasting colors, which is really cool to me. I like it a lot. I also really like Michinaga with a zombie, buck zombie buckle. Kamen Rider Buffa looks so good. I love that suit. Tycoon looks great. Nago looks great. There's a... I don't want to get too much into spoilers, but Punk Jack might be... might actually be my favorite suit of the season now that I think about it. Punk Jack's... It's real good. It's real good. And that's that's a huge strength for this season for me is that all the suits look great. There's been a couple seasons recently where I didn't necessarily think that all the suits look great. I'm gonna get flamed in the comments for that, but it's fine. Uh, I just I think all the suits look good in Geats for the most part. And there's a couple that we don't get to see fully suited out, which is kind of a shame. But for the most part, incredible suits. Next up, let's talk about music, cause uh, man. That music is great. You got like Revice. Okay, let's zero one. A lot of tech sense, right? Really not felt good, sound good, but also drums and some brass. Da -na 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 -na, you know, uh, Saber came in with the ska and it was great with the jazz mixed in a little bit. It is great. Revice, it's a little bit more popish, I guess. Geats comes back in straight with, hey, this is a Bond movie almost. Uh, we're going to have fun with it, though. We're going to have some interesting music as well. But this is, this is we got some nice jazz coming in now. And I really like it. It it feels like a, a weird mix between a spy movie and a Battle Royale movie, I guess. I don't know. It's really cool, actually. Uh, I love the music for Geats so far. And part of that is how good that theme song is. I don't think it's... Look. If we're talking Reiwa OPs, okay, Saber in Your Hand is very, very good. But this one's pretty good as well. I like it. I like it. I really do. Uh, the visuals are also really interesting. There's a really cool breakdown you can do there, especially once you get into the later variants of the visuals for the OP. But I find myself dun, 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 every week. It's It's really fun. Uh, also the dun, 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 at the end, it just, it's really, really solid. The music is great in Geats. So let's get into the action and then we'll bring up spoilers. Then we'll bring up spoilers and talk story. I think the choreography in this is really, really good. They push the envelope with what the idea of a suit can do in a way that I find really, really cool. It reminds me a lot of... Heisei Rider, where like, hey, Double can use Luna, and he can use metal, and so now the slingy arm has the big metal rod on the end of it, and it's just flailing around, uh, in a way that I don't necessarily think has been utilized in a little bit in Reiwa. It, a lot of Reiwa recently has been, I say recently, like there's any other option for Reiwa, a lot of Reiwa has been weapons or... Uh, power-ups, and it's not always, hey, how do I utilize this the best way? How, What different ways can I use this tool that I have now? And I think Geats is more of a refer return to form with that. Uh, Magnum not just being a pistol, but also being a rifle, or using gun kata with it. Uh, things like Ninja being able to multiply, or be the Cyclone, or be the Log, right? A lot of cool options, and we get into Beat, there's so much cool stuff going on with the buckles and the way they can be used and not even counting the fact that you can rotate and switch around and like the person's head goes back and then comes forward again. There's so many combinations, so many variables. It's, it's all utilized very well. And I also think they use the powers in cool ways to augment the fights. 
this is a cool season choreography wise. I don't think it's quite up there with revised choreography wise when it comes to the the sheer hand to hand. Hey, we got two writers fighting as if they were one writer. Here we go. Uh, I think the choreography in revised is still maybe a little bit better, but Geats has some great choreography so far. So we're going to talk spoilers. If you don't want to be spoiled on Kamen Rider Geats, you should go watch the show and then you can come back and watch this. If you don't care about spoilers, I'm going to lay bare everything we got going on for the first 19 episodes and I'm going to talk about it because I'm really excited to get to talk about it and I don't want to have to wait until it finishes. Uh, so let's get into this. The Desire Grand Prix is a really cool backdrop for this show, right? Hey, and this is all spoilers up to episode 19. Just again, I cannot stress enough. This is all spoilers up to episode 19. You have been warned. It's all a game show, and the reveal that it's a game show, of course, makes perfect sense when you look back on the course of the season and how the power-ups would show up uh, from the sponsors. It all makes sense now. And that setup of this is for international entertainment, this is a game we play with people's lives, is really good. Because that's basically what, it's not quite the same way, but it's basically what was going on with DJ Agra with Gaim. And, of course, you know, Ryuki has a little bit of that as well. But Geats, I think, takes it and spins it in a whole new way of, no, this is not just for a couple people's pleasure that are enjoying toying with these people. This is, this is television. This is entertainment. And when we look at the characters, it makes perfect sense that they would be selected. We've got, you know, Ace, the, the hero, the main guy, the the anomaly that is the star, the star of the stars, sorry, Ace, uh, that wins all the time, right? You've got Mishinaga Buffa that is the, the, I'm going, the rival, I'm going to win this, you cannot stop me, I will fight dirty if I have to, but I have a heart of gold deep down, and maybe that heart of gold is going to cost me the win sometimes, but I'm a good person deep down. I really like Michinage, if that's not clear. He's my favorite character in Geats. I absolutely love him. He is wonderful and a precious child, and I just want to save him and hold him and make sure he's okay. Um, <laughs> Nago, the, the rich heiress that doesn't want to be the heiress, uh, she's fun. I like her a lot. I, I wish she got to do more in combat lately. Ever since the introduction of a couple other new characters, it feels like she's kind of taking a backseat combat-wise. But character-wise, she's still very good. Uh, then, of course, we have... Man, do I want to get into everybody? It's, it's a revolving cast, right? There are people that come in and they lose and they get out. And there are people that come in and they die and they don't come back because they're gone. And there are people that get out and they die and... They were in all spoilers. They do come back because they're Jamatos now, because the Jamatos have feasted on their memories. That's such a cool setup. Uh, also, again, Kyoryu Blue uh, plays the white bear. And I just, I love him. He is incredible. And I'm glad that he got to be a common writer, even if only for one episode. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just cool to see him there. Okay, let's talk, let's talk, mm. I still, we're in all spoilers, and I still don't want to spoil too much for people. Chewa being the everyman, right? Kamen Rider Tycoon being the everyman, being the, the hero that is heroic, but also doesn't want to have to hurt anybody. He is, he is the regular guy. I really like Chewa. I wish that he got a little bit wiser to the fact that people are tricking him after the fact that he's been tricked by Geats like three times. But I feel like Kawa is like the beating heart and I really want to see him continue to grow. I'm really excited to see him continue to grow and he gets some of the best moments in the show. Uh, there's a moment where his helmet cracks and you get to see his eye underneath and that is always hype, no matter what series it's in. That is always one of the best moments in the show when it happens. And we got that with Kawa, and I, it's just really good. Uh, I love Pump Jack, and what happened to him was a crime. That man was incredible, and he 
I love Pump Jack. I miss him every day. Miss you, my boy. Pump Jack was great. I really like the new characters. Uh, Madge Sparrow and Lobo. I, Lobo, I think I like Lobo more, right? Lobo is very cool. I love the blue that is used for her mask. It, it's a really nice shade. They could have gone like dark blue of like big wolf boy, big wolf girl. But instead they went for a much lighter shade that I think accentuates the, the curves in the helmet a whole lot more and makes it stand out more as compared to the like deep blue of Nadj Sparrow, the, the darker green of Tycoon, the dark yellow and black of Nago. I think it looks really good in the lineup with everybody else. Ned Sparrow is okay. I think that it's a cool suit, right? I like it. But I just... Daichi's a weird character. And I feel like he didn't really get enough time to shine. Is maybe the way to put it. I feel like he's just kind of there to be like the... Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Is he the disaster or is he not? And I guess we could talk about the disaster. Because uh, that's where the Among Us elements come in. <sighs> There's so much going on in this show. The stuff with Giroudi and... That stuff was great, him interfering, and then... Oh, pump Jack. Geats is a really good show so far, man. And I know I'm just kind of rambling here about what I like about it, but I don't really have any negatives. And some people might say, well, if you don't have any negatives, then it must be your, like your favorite writer show. And it's not that. It's more that I think it's... I want to see how it ends, obviously. But I also think that it is like really solid... And I'm kind of worried because of how solid it is that it won't be able to keep it up. But it's really solid in all the ways that I want it to be solid. And it's great in a couple of regards that I didn't expect it to be great in. But it's just not reinventing the wheel, I guess you could say, right? Like, my favorite Kamen Riders are Double and Drive, which are weird shows in a lot of ways, but have incredibly emotional moments. And for me, that's the big thing. I'm a moments guy, right? I didn't really like Kamen Rider Ghost on the first watch through, but that moment in Ghost where Takaru is screaming out to people and they can't hear him is a really emotional moment, and it made me love Ghost in a way that I didn't before. And so maybe it's just that I don't have that emotional moment yet. There's some good ones. There's absolutely some good ones. Michinaga's death. There's the... I can't remember the guy's name. The guy that dies in Kawa's arms. That's a really good moment. Uh, Kawa choosing to stand up and fight anyway. The ninja buckle flying to him because his sister's hurt. That's a really great moment. Nago deciding to fight anyway, even though she doesn't know how things are going to go. And she's really concerned about her relationship with her mom. That's a great moment. There, there's some really solid moments so far, but I don't have anything that is like gut-wrenchingly tragic in the way that Drive and Double do that made me love them so much. So... There's still time for that, though. We're only on episode 19. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to talk about. Uh, when we talk about, like, henshin noises and henshin poses and jingles, because those are very important, uh, this show's pretty great. There's some really good ones. And hearing the random every time is really good. I like this show a lot, and I want to hear your thoughts on it as well. Do you, how do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. The Kamen Rider Geats has to offer. I can't do it. There, that's it. This is a rabbit, right? This is this is the, the Kitsune.